Um, living in a retirement community at 33 years of age. What's up, freckled ball bag? Um, a friend recently turned me on to your podcast. It's hilarious. Well, thank you. Thank you for preventing me from killing myself on my one-hour commute to work. Well, that's great. I like to, I like to do what I can. Although I am into population, maybe I should take a f- control population control. Maybe I should take a couple weeks off. Uh, my wife, twenty eight, and I, thirty three, finally had enough money to buy our first home. Dude, you guys are crushing it! So we purchased a nice little townhouse in Connecticut. We didn't know at the time, but we were moving into a community that is potentially the evil offspring of a retirement village and the house of wax. Oh yeah, well that's what happens when you buy your first house. You're so excited, you don't drive around. You don't know the questions to ask. Now you know. Are the people old as shit around here? Just out of curiosity. Is this a drug-filled neighborhood? Is there any chemical fucking shit in the water? What are the schools like? You know, all those questions you have to ask. All right. We are nice, courteous people. And so we think, or so we think, uh, so don't take the anger in this email out of context. Um, well, you had a little perspective of that. Well, you said, if you said we're nice, courtesy people, courteous people, but, but the fact that you actually have the intelligence to say, or so we think, understanding that there is another perspective in life other than your own. Uh, we've helped some of our old ass neighbors carry shit, you know, because they can't with the osteoporosis and everything. We wave and chat with them when walking our dog, and we even hold the charity beer pong tournament in New York City every year to raise money. For MS, uh, unrelated to our community, but shows we care, question mark, I guess, question mark. Anywho, enough about us. Uh, This past weekend, we had my brother and sister-in-law in town and invited another couple over on Saturday. Saturday! Um, Sorry if I blew your eardrums out. I tried to pull it away enough. Uh, I don't think I took it away in time. Sorry. Uh, We went to hang out at school. at At our pool, sorry. We took a float snacks a couple of beers and a speaker there were five to seven other people at the pool all in their hundreds it did not look like the pool scene from caddyshack uh we hung out chatted sipped a beer and listened on low to jack johnson or some other mellow soft shit monday morning at 10 a.m the entire community got this email residents It was reported to the board and the management that over this past weekend, there were some owners and guests who behaved inappropriately, loud and shouting conversations, foul language, and may have partaken in alcoholic beverages prior to or while visiting the pool. None of these things are acceptable and are also violation of the pool rules of the old fucks court. Obviously, you added that. If, if said individuals were seen behaving in such a manner going forward, the police may be called and said individuals will not be permitted to use the facilities and may also be subject to a hearing in front of the board whereby fines may be imposed. The pool facility is for the peaceful enjoyment of all residents and we hope to keep it that way. Thank you. Signed, the old ass board of directors. Jesus Christ, dude. What the f- You didn't realize you fucking bought a house in a retirement community? It says, first off, let me say I've had, I had nothing against the elderly. I love my grandparents. It's, you don't have to stop establishing credibility. You bought a fucking house. It's, a, in, in, in the, it's like the movie Cocoon, but if you jump in the pool, you're still fucking old. I get it. Um... Anyways, I called it once a week. I enjoy a quiet night on the couch with some scotch or an old fashioned and shit. I still use Hotmail. Yes, we're a part of HOA and in rules about, 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 about alcohol drinks. The, at the pool, you can only have two guests per household. Oh shit, we violated the covenant. But this email from the board is still absurd, right? No, it's not absurd. You just didn't do your homework. You didn't do your homework. That's what happened. You didn't do your homework. Did I just fucking rip the spread here with that pen in the back pocket? Laying on my mother's fucking quilt here. Um, Motherfucker, am I here? I got to go back to this here. By the way, everybody thinks every sound on my podcast is a fart now. Because I hold this thing to my chest. Any fucking sound that's made. Dude, you fucking ripped ass last week. Uh, I mean, maybe I did. I don't think. I, mean, I don't feel that I am. Maybe I am. I don't know. Um... 
but it's I'm in I'm in my house. You know, I have to fart. I let it go. You can't fucking smell it. Deal with it. Um, no, dude, this is all on you. This is just. He said, but loud conversations, what? Drinking alcoholic beverages prior to visiting the pool area? Are you kidding me? The police may be called. Get an F in life, dude. Dude, this is their life. This is the end of their life, and they want quiet, okay? Half of them probably fought in fucking wars. The last thing I need is you with your newfangled fucking Elvis music that is Jack Johnson to them. Look, it. this is the deal. You guys fucked up. Okay, you guys fucked up. All right. And this is part of buying your first house. Okay, I bought my first house back in 2011. Um, And you know what? I was like, wow, it's a great old house. It has a lot of character. You know, you know what my fucking old people at the pool was galvanized pipes in the walls, cloth wiring, a gas leak flashing when I turned on the lights to possibly ignite the gas underneath my fucking house. Uh, Wood rot, termites, non-permitted fucking building shit. Just you fucking name it. Put a new roof on it. The guy fucked up. He didn't reattach the thing. The water came through. They blamed me. I just said, fuck it. I paid for it myself. This is part of it, dude. I'm really sorry that you're going through this. I'm sure there's somebody else old that will buy your fucking house. Um, other than that, I would just, you are in a communal area. I would be quiet when you go down to the pool. I mean, I try to look at the bright side. At least nobody's going to be listening to loud fucking Benny Goodman music all the way into the night. Cause old people, you know, they fall asleep like nine times a day. So, and even if you don't like your neighbor, they're going to die soon. There's a lot of positive ways to look at this. And you can also, you can always sell. So I would make the best of it. You can always Uber. I would Uber. I would go out and go get fucking hammered and be loud in the young part of town and then come back. Just make sure you get some sort of electric car to cruise you up real quietly to your fucking front door. I'm sorry you're going through that, but what you learned is you have to fucking check out your neighborhood before you, uh, you know, you got to read everything, you know. So that's the deal. All right. I hope it works out for you.